Unraveling the Homophone Mystery, Spoken Clarity in English. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today we have an exciting topic on our plate. We'll be digging deep into the world of homophones and how to clarify them in spoken communication. Remember, homophones are words that sound the same but have different meanings and sometimes different spellings. Our main goal today is to ensure you're confident when speaking and listening to English by understanding and distinguishing these tricky pairs. Let's dive in. Homophones can often lead to confusion, especially in spoken communication. Take for example the words, flower, and flower. They sound exactly the same, but one is a beautiful plant and the other is used for baking. The context usually helps, but what if someone says, I need a flower for my cake? Quite perplexing, isn't it? This is where the need to clarify homophones arises. Let's talk about how to clarify these homophones when you're having a conversation. 1. Asking for spelling. One straightforward way to clarify is to ask for spelling. This helps especially when the words are spelled differently, like here and here. 2. Using synonyms. Another strategy involves using synonyms. If you didn't understand whether someone said bear or bear, you can ask them if they meant naked or the animal. 3. Requesting for a sentence. You can also request them to use the word in a sentence. This is useful when the words are spelled the same but have different meanings, like lead, to guide, and lead, a type of metal. 4. Describing the word. In case you're trying to make yourself understood, you can describe the word. If you're talking about rows, as in a line, you might say rows, as in lines of things. Remember, Practice is key when it comes to getting a handle on homophones. Now, let's look at some common homophones and potential clarifications. Sun and sun. You can ask, do you mean sun, as in the star, or sun, as in a male child? Pair and pair. Clarify by saying, are you talking about a pair? as in two of something, or a pear, as in the fruit. No, and, no. You can ask, do you mean, no, as in understanding something, or, no, as in a negative response. Try to come up with similar clarification strategies for other homophones you encounter. That wraps up our lesson on clarifying homophones in spoken communication. Hopefully, these strategies will help you communicate more clearly and understand others better when it comes to dealing with these tricky words. Remember, understanding homophones takes time and practice, so don't be too hard on yourself if you don't get it immediately. Keep practicing, and it will soon become second nature to you. Thank you for joining us today. And as always, happy learning.